so cute. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I can't. I'm so in love, guys. Ow! CVPs and welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited. Christmas is coming early for me. Oh my gosh, you never can imagine what I'm about to do today. Yes, you read the title. And guys, if you are new here, smash the like button and the subscribe button and give us a big fat thumbs up. And if you like this video, comment below. Let me know what you think. My husband is here. He is driving, heading down to this place where we're gonna meet the new babies. I'm so excited! Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> He's excited. How excited are you in a scale from one till ten? You're in a five? Okay. I'm in a ten. I'm a ten. <laughs> So we're almost there. We are meeting this guy that I've never met before in a Wiener Schnitzel fast food chain. Um, that's the address he sends me that he wants me to meet him in. He says he's gonna have the birds with him. We're almost there. It's, we're just a minute away. So I'm super excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of bumps in Long Beach. There's, a, hey, there's so much bumps. It's on the right side, on this side. Husband is doing a good job driving without complaining so far. Um, and I am so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna meet my new babies. You meet the new birds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're doing this. Christmas definitely is coming early. You're and welcome. Guys, I have the best husband ever. <laughs> town city. We are just oh, town city. a minute away. Do you see the Wiener Schnitzel? Yeah, to the left. That's what I thought. Oh, there, 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 there it is. There's Wiener Schnitzel. <gasps> oh my gosh, is is he gonna meet us inside? I'm gonna fall asleep in the parking lot somewhere. You're in the parking lot? Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the GPS. I hope he doesn't mind me filming it. You shouldn't. He's, he's probably inside, right? Or does he want to meet in the parking lot? I don't know. You, you talk to him. Let me text him. Wait, no, he's inside. Well, I thought that he was... Uh, Just park here in the shade, babe. And he took up two parking spots. Well, up. he has so many space. Why are you complaining? Just park somewhere, anywhere. That's fine. He says okay. Oh, you just park here. Stop! Here's shade. Yeah, just stop yeah, here. Yeah. This is great. Uh, Where is he? Oops. I think he's over there in a the white truck. Park next to him. Drive over there. He's over there. Uh, there he is. That's right, that's right. There, that's him. That makes more sense. Next to him right here. I I am doing a lot. Can you doing what I am going to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> what did you just say? I did. I am doing what you want me to do. You crazy woman. Are you, are you playing an Indian guy now? Okay, we're here. I hope he has nothing against filming. Yay, we made it. Okay, are you coming out? Of course. Okay, so guys, we just got here. I don't even know his name. Hi, what's your name? James? Hi, I'm Caroline. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Born to be free. Born to be free, free flight. Are they back here? Yeah, I do free flight. 
Okay. Stop winning. Do you have DNA testing? Do you know if no, they are I don't female? Know their sex. You don't know their sex. No, I don't know their sex, but I can tell. <gasps> they are so big. But I can already. tell. You can tell already? Yeah, based on their behavior. Really? Okay. Uh, this one is a female. Yeah. This is a male. You think so? Yeah, based on their behavior. The male is very bold. He's bold. Yeah, more, more like go out in the open. The female, they're all tame. Um, they we can't clipped. take him out because they are, are they clipped? No, they're not clipped. They don't fly. They fly well. But they I, fly well? They fly real well. Be careful. They fly very well. <gasps> not, not that they fly away. No, no, no. They, they train. No. 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 Oh. I hold this. So they're very tame. Wow. And those are golden conures? Yes, these are babies. So They're eight months old? Yeah. They're babies. Can, can I yes. touch them? Hello. Come yes. here. Stop them. I just hold under the toes so yes. they don't disappear. Yes. Oh my gosh. They smell like babies. They really are babies. Okay, so Eight months old, right? Yeah. So why are golden conures so rare? Hard to breed. Because what? Hard to breed. They are hard to breed? It's like uh, harder than the... the uh, what you call it? The Congo. Congo African grapes? Way harder. Do you have more birds? No, I just breed them special. I'm very specialized in them. So you have their parents? Yeah, they're very specialized. And they don't often breed. They're not big. If, they, if they are easy to breed, a lot of people are going to have it. That's why they're so rare. Yeah. Like hyacinths. Can you see the wings? Okay, so just the first that clips. Yeah, just in case. The They'll grow one. back right away. It's, it's Oh, he's so cute. So, um, so they are both healthy, and there's nothing very wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them. They're, I, they're very, very healthy. Okay. I keep my bird quarantined. I don't let people come in, things like okay. that, because they're rare. Yeah. And and um. Do you want to touch them? Not right they're now. Cute. They're cute. They're the most gentle bird. I've never been get pinned by them before. Really? The most gentle bird. Okay. So the green on their head will all be yellow when they grow, grow older. Older. So and that's how you tell they are um, they're still babies. And they will be a little bigger, right? Oh, yeah. Like like a size you know, of a one and a half the times. One and a half times bigger than this now? So as big as an African grey. Almost the same size. Same Almost. size of African grey. Almost. Because of do you have names for them or not yet? No, I don't give them names. <laughs> you guys give them them. Okay. So how many eggs do they lay per, per it, year? It varies. It varies. Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. But it depends on season and also depends on temperature. Yeah. So like I tell you, it's not a guarantee. Yeah. We, we we try to condition them. Yeah. And sometimes I take them a day a year off. So I don't want to stretch them. Yeah. Because the it's like people like try to kill their golden goose. I don't. Yeah. I don't I don't mess around because it's my this is my golden goose. I take care of my golden goose. Yeah. So Hey, your brother's right here. Do you have a lot of inquiries? Yes. Yes. But I'm very selective. I just don't want to give it, uh, sell it to people who have no idea what they're dealing with. Yeah. Because if they don't have no idea, I just might as well get a parakeet. Exactly. Because they are. And then they'll kill it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to free fly them. They yeah, make sure you legs. have like a big baseball cage, something like that. Yeah. Learn how to free fly. Um, my friend free fly them. Yeah. He He's a free flyer? Yeah, he taught them free fly, so he got my birds and he did free fly. Cool. But so, be careful, they fly very high. Yeah. They go all the way up to those palm trees. Oh, yeah. No, I fly him in the desert. Yeah. And like an open area, not, not in yeah. the neighborhood. No, they'll disappear on you. They fly oh, yeah. so well. Okay, so what do you think, Chris? 
Let's take them home. You have your. Uh, I say no still, but. You say no? <laughs> we were fighting. I know, I know. We got, we got like eight, eight pairs. This will be eight, nine, ten. This will be ten. This will literally be ten. It's okay, because what happened is. What, one, it's a collection. <laughs> Once you start it. One, one golden gray that oh. we have, African gray, mm -hmm. two hyacinths that we have. Oh, nice. One little half breed, Hopi half breed parrot. He's okay. a Catalina macaw. Oh, well. Okay, so it's a green one. Then we have two Amazons uh -huh. Amazon's and two lorikeets. Lorikeets beautiful. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Lorikeets beautiful. So the, so the, um, the hyacinth, how old your hyacinth? One hyacinth is 31 and the other one is baby, he's five. Oh, it takes a long time to breed. Oh yeah, we're not, not gonna breed. Easy to breed. But she, the girl, um, already, oh, you just, um, she you? already um, laid two eggs. Three. Three eggs. But it's non fertile, right? Non fertile, yeah. Uh, that was, a, that was just a year ago because she was the happiest. Because uh, she was like really, really happy mm -hmm. and we got her in a breeding, didn't realize that, and uh, she, she just laid the three so eggs. So that, that, that's the 30 years old one, right? The, the five is too young to. The, yeah, he's too young. He's, to too, he's too young for her now. Right, the, the thing is, sometimes they don't, they're, they're not receptive to breeding. Okay? Yeah. Um, because oh, we handle them too much. You want to come out? <laughs> so this is the girl? Yeah. She has more energy. Because she's. Um, because they're a girl, girl a little more timid. Timid or more energy? More energy too. You just play with them. They will they will play with you because you are new to them. Oh my gosh, her tail is gone. Yeah, because they're baby, they're always on the bottom. Oh, yeah, so they'll grow back. Oh. They don't like to perch too much. The, they like to be on the bottom. Oh really? Until they get older. Because they're baby. But they eat by themselves already, so I don't yeah, need we, to hand no. feed. feed them. Feed them pellets. Pellets? Yeah, do not feed them seeds. seeds. Yeah, I don't do seeds. We do pellets. Yeah. Feed them pellets. They love to eat. I give them supreme. Supreme pellets? Yes. And then I'll give them high quality because yeah. I don't cheapen my bird because <laughs> it's, uh, they're expensive. Why would I cheapen them? Uh, exactly. So I give them the, the best quality. Best quality, yeah. We give them um, rowdy bush uh -huh. pellets. And they eat. Like I give them fruits every day. Yes. Apple, too. papaya, banana, whatever get a peach. They eat. Every day. Every day. Oh my god. Let's take them home, Chris. You will not regret. They are one of the best. Um, you know what I said. They are. They're better than um, the hyacinth. <laughs> the hyacinths. They're so cuddly. They're so needy. But these are not as needy. Oh my gosh. Are they, are they loud? They're like, um, what do you call it? They're not as loud as the Amazon. You're so cute. Okay, we, we'll, we're gonna take them, right babe? Gonna take them? Please, look how cute. Look at baby, look at how cute. Gonna take them home with us? Seems like it, no matter what. You will love them. If you handle them every day, they stick with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They stick with all my kids. How many do you have? Huh? How I many? I have a couple, but I, I keep them for breeders. So, um, these babies, I, I don't breed them. It take them like five years. Five years? To be sexual mature? The highest will take them like 10 years. You can get an, another one, um, and you can DNA them first. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But a lot of times people keep them for, for pets. Because you, when you start breeding them, they cannot, they cannot be as tame as you want them to be. And you don't want them to be tame when you breed them. Look, yeah, it's either pet birds or breeding birds, is it? Because yeah. if you bond with you, they won't breed. I love them both. I want them both. Mm -hmm. And they will stay together their whole life. So they will have good homes. Yeah. Oh my God. I really like, we need to find a name for them, right? And then if you... Oh my gosh, look at them, look how cute they are. And if you have time, you take them out in the sun. Yeah, oh. They, they like, um, all the birds, like Likes they have a outside. little UV, they color nicer. Yeah. They, they're, they're, um, the feather is beautiful when you take them out in the sun.
And then we have to train them with harness training. Yeah, harness training. Harness training and poop training and free flight training. You guys, we have so much in store for you guys. Oh my god. Christmas came early. Let's take them home, honey. Yes, we're gonna do it. You guys are gonna have the best home ever. You hit the jackpot. You'll be really happy birds. You really will. And spoiled. For um, Facebook and for my mom, because my mom wants to see them too. Home. Where is there? You go. There you go. Okay, so this is our crate. It's so cute. You will have more conyers next year. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can do Zell. That's not an issue with that. Yeah, just Zell me on that on the phone I send you. Okay, um, let me Zell what's, you. What's the name of the? Um About our new babies. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Babe, I'm turning you into a bird man. <laughs> hey guys, so here they are. My new two gold cottons. Look at them. And guys, they smell so good. I'm taking them home. I'm so happy. This is the best Christmas present ever that I gave to myself. Uh-huh. You gave to yourself. I gave you the money, babe. So we stopped and I gave them some water. They're drinking now water. Hey, water. No. Don't play with that container. They're so cute, guys. Hi. They're really little dinosaurs. <gasps> They're drinking water. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. This is a dream come true. They're the most cutest little babies. The girl is like a little dinosaur. She's like always screaming. The boy, he's more chill. So we have already names for them. But I'm gonna reveal it in the next video. Can't believe I have golden conyers. Oh my gosh. Good, drink guys. Drink. Nice thing is you guys will be together forever. You will not be apart. You were born together and you were raised together. And you'll be gonna be growing up together and you guys will be free flying together. Oh my god, I love you. I can't believe I've gone Conyers. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh. I'm the most lucky girl in the world. Oh my gosh. Oh my heart is so happy right now. Look how gorgeous they are. They're so gorgeous. Golden Conyers. They were my dream birds. After Hyacinth, they are my dream birds. <laughs> I love them so much. Look at you guys. The queen of Barbaria. 
even known as the Königin von Bayern. Mm. Und ich habe zwei. That means I have two. Yeah? Look at those little... And they don't bite at all. They're just nipping. They're just nipping. They're very curious. Boop, just nipping. Hey, you're gonna bite that? Are you gonna bite that? He's gonna chew this off. One hour later. Oh, when I had a piss. <laughs> Guys, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love. Oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. I don't know what else to say. They are gorgeous. They are, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. They are more than I can ask for, wish, dream, or even want. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are beautiful. Look at how big they are. They are big birds. They are really, ow! Not as big as hyacinths, but they are big birds. So this is the girl, she has like no tail and you can see the boy has a little bit tail. But we have to DNA test them and see like if they're really female and male because that's what the breeder says, but I'm not sure. We don't know until we test them. Hey, little girly. Hi, little boy. And guys, we have to get names for them. If you have name suggestion, post it on the comments. I wanna hear from you. Did you just put that? And she has quite a, a, a bite, don't you? You have quite a bite on you. I love them. I love, I'm so in love, guys. Look at how pretty they are. You have no idea how, how pretty they are. 